In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus AgNO3. This is potassium phosphate plus silver nitrate. The first thing we need to do when we balance net ionic equations, that's to balance the molecular equation. In this equation, I can see I have three potassiums here, just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the KNO3. I can see there are three silver atoms here and just one here. So I'll put a three in front of the silver nitrate. So the silvers, the nitrates are balanced. I think we're done. This equation is balanced. The next step is we write the states for each substance. Phosphates in general are insoluble, but potassium compounds are very soluble. Same for sodium. So this is actually going to be a soluble phosphate. We write AQ because it's soluble. Silver nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. So that'll be aqueous, that'll dissolve, split apart into its ions. Phosphates, we said, in general, are insoluble. Silver compounds often are insoluble as well. Silver phosphate, this is going to be insoluble. So these two substances here, they react, and we get this solid, this insoluble compound. It doesn't dissolve. It sinks to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. So that'll be a solid. That's our precipitate. And then nitrates, again, very soluble, aqueous. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This gives us the complete ionic equation. Potassium group 1 on the periodic table, that's 1 plus for each one of these. And then the whole phosphate, that's 3 minus. Good one to know. Three potassium ions. I won't write the states each time. Let's write that at the end. Plus our phosphate ion. We have silver, which is always 1 plus. The whole nitrate, always 1 minus. So three silver ions and then three nitrate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we just have Ag3PO4. We said potassium is positive and the nitrate ions negative. Three potassium ions, just like in the reactants, plus we have three nitrates, also like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic. So I can see in the reactants up here, three potassium ions and in the products, those, and then three nitrates here in the reactants and in the products, those go. What's left though, that's the net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus AgNO3. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium phosphate plus silver nitrate. You'll see charge is conserved. We have a three minus here, three times one plus, that's three plus. So all of this adds up to zero for the charge. This is neutral, charge is zero. And then the atoms, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first in net ionic equations. Either way, it's the same thing, might look a little bit nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus AgNO3. Thanks for watching.